guys, so I'm here today to film my March favorites for you. Um, I don't think I filmed one for February. The month was so short, it flew by. I just didn't have time, so I'm filming one for March because I've got a lot of favorites. They're kind of random, but whatever. Um, I'm going to start with skincare. My three favorite skincare items this month. Um, I've been using the Bossia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. Now, I don't find this cooling at all, which I thought it would be, but I do really like this cleansing oil. I've only ever liked the MAC one before, and I really like this. It actually, I think, gets my eye makeup off better than my MAC one did. I still love my MAC one, but I do like this. I would probably purchase a full size, but because this is the sample size, but I have three other cleansing oils to use up first, so baby steps. Um, my next favorite is my Embryo Lease late cream concentrate which is basically just a morning moisturizer it's in like this metal packaging which is really hard to use but i've had it since well not hard to use but kind of more like annoying i've had it since eye mask which was in november and i still have i think lots left in here it'll probably last me at least through april if not into may and it's super moisturizing it's great if you have dry skin i will totally repurchase this when i go to eye mask i might even pick up two i really like it my last favorite for the month is the Glam Glow Super Mud. I don't think I've talked about this since I hauled it, and I absolutely love this mask. It is pretty expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. Um, I've used it about five times, and as you can see, there is still loads left. It, like, way over half is still in there, which is fantastic. Um, it's basically just a mud mask you put on. It's one of the ones, though, where... You can see all the dirt it's pulling out of your pores. I posted a blog about my favorite skincare stuff for when I'm sick. And I have a picture on there about what my pores looked like when I had this on. So I'll link that below in the down bar because I think it's super awesome when it pulls the stuff out of your pores. And I also discovered a trick to applying this. I hate flat foundation brushes. I have no use for them. But they are fantastic at applying mud masks like this that get under your fingernails and get all of your fingers and everything. You honestly just dip it, brush it on your face. It goes on so much smoother and so much easier than with your fingers. It's like, I read it on a blog. I forget what blog it was, but it's like the greatest thing I've ever read. So I wanted to share it with you guys because it's amazing. I love this mud mask. I also have the Tingle Exfoliate Treatment, but I don't like that one as well. I find it kind of gritty for my face and there's like chunks of like seaweed in it. It's weird, but this one is definitely a keeper. I would totally repurchase it forever. Um, I have one hair care item, which is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist. Now, I got this when I got my hair cut off, and I used it on and off, but I used, I, the other couple weeks I used, I, I can't speak. I straightened my hair without using this, and it felt kind of, it looked kind of frizzy and weird, and then I tried it with this, and it looked so sleek and so perfect, so I absolutely adore this. It's just really good, and it's super cheap. Um, my next favorite is kind of like a random one, and I know that I just hauled this. Actually, two of these things I just hauled. I have a problem. Um, these are the Tweezerman tweezers. Um, worth every freaking penny. First of all, I love that they come with this little, like, rubber nubby to, like, put on top so that you can keep your tweezers together so that you don't dull the tip. It's fantastic. These tweezers get every little tiny, teensy hair I could possibly want tweezed. They are fantastic. I love them. For 30 bucks, they're going to last you forever, and they're fantastic. I love them. The rest is makeup. Um, my first one is another just recently hauled item. That is my MAC Face and Body. I forgot how much I loved this foundation. I know I raved about it in my last video, but I'm raving about it again because it is just fantastic. I'm wearing it on my skin today. Honestly, I just put a thin layer on top and then add to coverage where I want it, and then put some concealer on, and my skin looks Flawless yet super natural. You can see, still see my freckles. It looks like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, but I feel like I look flawless. I absolutely adore this. I guess the next face thing is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, at first, I didn't really love this, and I do think that the color is too ashy for my skin tone, but I really do like that it keeps my brows tamed. It makes them look full. I think my brows look really great. I hope that I'm not like just looking like a crazy person right now, but it makes them look like I have... look pretty natural yet full and bushy and awesome and I love it. Um, with that I also use an eyeshadow by Ben Nye. I believe it's called Espresso. Maybe No, it's called Cocoa Brown. This is what it looks like. It's just this really, really warm toned brown which look, is like the perfect color for my eyebrows. 
So yeah, I love that. And then the rest of my favorites are eyes. So honestly this month I've been super lazy and I've been sleeping in a lot. So I've been loving just applying feline eye coal to my top lash line and just smudging it. I find on days when you're too lazy to wear eyeshadow it's the best way to make yourself look put together and still make your lash line look full because I find that even when I wear eyeshadow I still want a little bit of liner on. Even when I don't want to wear, wear eyeshadow, I want liner on because I want my lash line to look fuller than it actually is because I have such sparse lashes. So I've been loving just smudging this into my lash line with a little bit of a flick with like a angled liner brush. It's fantastic. And then on days when I do want to wear eyeshadow, I've honestly just been popping Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow all over my lid. It's my like all-time favorite cream eyeshadow. I put some serious dent in that. It's fantastic. It's also cracking like the freaking desert. Um, but yeah, I love that all over the lid always. Um, and then my last eye favorite, oh I lied, I have more than eye favorites, so I'm just a liar, is the NARS Narcissist Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if I've talked about this since I hauled it. Um, I did do a video, I mean a blog post on it, which I will also link below because I swatched everything and I just love this palette. It is just perfect. That's all I gotta say, it's perfect, I love it. Um, the shadows are fantastic. They're super pigmented. You can get so many looks out of this. I think this is worth every penny. And look how cute it is. I love it. Um, and then for blush this month, I've kind of been all over the map, but one look I've really been loving when I'm just wearing my smudgy liner is NARS Desire, which is this like freaking neon hot pink. It just makes you look alive. I've been having trouble with blush like not staying on my cheeks for the whole day but this stays on looks beautiful it looks terrifying in the pan and on the finger but when you put it on it looks just like a nice pop of bright blush that makes you look like you're not dead which is exciting and then my last favorite is the uh lady gaga fame perfume i love the smell of this this is probably one of the biggest dents i've put into a perfume because i don't wear the same perfume every day and i don't wear perfume every day because my office is fragrance free but I've been loving the Lady Gaga Fame perfume. I'm wearing it today. It just smells so good. I love these really like deep kind of spicy scents. It's my favorite. I love that. So those are my favorite makeup and beauty items for the Munch of Mar Munch of March. <laughs> English is not my first language. For the month of March. So thank you for watching. And I will have a haul up soon because I am going to two warehouse makeup warehouse sales within the next week. I'm so excited. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.